Miss Mama Melissa kwamba mtoto wake amepata ball na baada ya campus ndio ameingia campus ndio ameingia campus ninajua ndio baraka kubwa ambayo Mungu ametupa yes alafu nyinyi kama watoto wangu mimi nafurahi kwamba mmekuja pamoja na Mungu amewabariki umepata mimba na mna Je ni wase mko fresh jo tumeacha ni aje baada leo tumekuja hapa hivi Garden City na my baby kutafuta breakfast tukamwa why not sasa tuwafanye hii video yenye mmekuwa mkirequest ya our parents reaction towards e pregnancy yote sio so tunataka tusikie kwanza version ya ya my dad kwanza Tusikie kwanza ta <laughs> Tusikie kwanza yeye reaction yake ni gani juu naweza mu access live live on call ndampigisha tu call ndampigisha tu call je naweza mu access live on call naweza mpigia tu call saa hii tusikie tu akitubongesha live on camera atuambie yeye mwenyewe anachukuliaje hizi news zetu cause you know yeye ndo tumzazi pekee hapo so why not kama fans wa kitisha kitu acha tuwapatie si ndio mm-hmm. tutoke hapo tupige story ya your mom alikuwa amesema aje and stuff yeah let's get into it hello hey. eh <laughs> pole nimekupigia na namba nyingine kwa sababu simu yangu oh. sahii ndio inatumika kwa kurekodi Oh, ile nyingine inatumika wapi? Sasa hivi ndio like ilikuwa imeshikilia kamera wana try tumia kwa ku record. Oh. Eh, lakini ni simu ya Whitney. Okay. Eh, sasa mm. <laughs> tungependa tu kujua your reaction kusiana mm. as being uh, pregnant at this time. You know. <laughs> oh. Yeah. If you can just take like two minutes it will be okay with that. Ah uh, mimi kwanza nina furaha kubwa sana kwamba nyinyi mmepatana hichi na wale. Yes. Mmetendana. Yes. Mapenzi ninajua ndio baraka kubwa ambayo Mungu ametupa. Yes. Alafu nyinyi kama watoto wangu mimi nafurahi kwamba mmekuja pamoja na Mungu amewabariki umepata Eh. Uh-huh. Mimba na mnatarajia mtoto. Yeah. Sasa mimi kama mzazi nitakuwa na furaha sana kama mtoto atakayezaliwa. Yes. Atazaliwa katika hali nzuri na kupata malezi mema na atunze vizuri. Ah, uh, naam. Um. Na mimi na nina hakika kwamba ni njia moja ya maisha. Mungu aweze kuwabariki. Yes. Awaongoze na muendelee kupendana daima mpate huyu mtoto mm. na wengine na wengine wengi ambao Mungu atawajalia. Eh asante tunashukuru. <laughs> e, karibu sana na muendelee hiyo milele. Hiyo hiyo kufika njiani tena kwa sana. Kweli kweli. Tutafanya kila kitu towezalo yani familia yetu iwe kubwa pia sisi kabisa mimi pia najua kwamba sasa mtoto atakayezaliwa yeah. ataniwakilisha ataniwakilisha mimi mzazi wenu Milton Oyuma ndio hivyo asante tunashukuru miaka yote asante aya pole kwa kukusumbua hakuna <laughs> si usumbufu mm-hmm. ina ina ni, ni majukumu iko hivyo <laughs> <laughs> Maisha yako hivyo. Ah ndo kweli asante. Sio nitakuwa yeah. grandfather. <laughs> eh mimi sasa nitakuwa nitakuwa huyo ni mjukuu wangu. Ni mjukuu wako naam. Yeah. So mimi ni babu yake sasa nitafurahi sana kuwa babu wakati huu wa miaka yangu. Kwa hivyo nitakapotimiza nafikiri miaka 46 nitakuwa na mjukuu ni furaha kubwa sana. Wangu. <laughs> eh tuendelee kutuombea Mungu na atubariki. E, Mungu atawabariki. Mimi nawapa baraka zangu zote. Mm-hmm. 
kwa niaba ya mama yenu na mimi mwenyewe na waombea na waombea kabisa kwamba Mungu awabariki niendelee vizuri na mbarikiwe zaidi aya na utabarikiwa utaona watoto wetu wote <laughs> asante aya kwa na siku njema aya nani pia aya aya mtalimie wiki ni aya ungepewa usemi sawa ndamsalimu aya mwambie tunampenda na siku moja aje atusalimie nyumbani ndio <laughs> sawa ndapanga na yeye tuje nyumbani <laughs> aya asante kabisa aya Shukran, shukran. Aya. Ah. That was his reaction no msikia hapo venye ametumwajia mabaraka tele tele. But then my dad is always one of the best dads in the world. I'm always so proud of him. Ju. Yeye uko anga amechezile role ya my mom, yeye uko anga amechezile role ya mom side na dad. So ni rais sana inakuwaga easy kubonga naye hata kama sijazoea kubonga naye on call. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, that was his reaction. A bunch of scary reaction, yeah. You know, Melissa's mom. My mom. Abu tell us the story. How was it? <laughs> okay, my mom for so now she's far, uh-huh. and say so she's busy. So calling her it a kuwa gorgeous, huh? Yeah, busy to get a call. Say it was you. Yeah. So guys, this is what actually happened on the first of this year. Tuko tumeagree huu mwaka tukiingia tu hivi na, me, na my baby Melissa tuko tumeagree kwamba tutaambia na story itakuwa imefikia mama yake pia at least amejua what is happening in our life so that isiko tu na decision yetu wenyewe ya tumejiwekea ibaki kuwa baadaye jua the end of the day unajua mtoto si kitu yenye unaweza ficha mtoto ni kitu yenye at the end of the day at 9 months zikisha tupata tu tume tumepata na mtoto si ndio sijumi ni kuanishambia my dad over the holiday ilikuwa easy ya kwangu unajua mi as a man kuongea na my dad is on face to face ilikuwa easy sana but sasa kitenda wili pale ilikuwa ni convince mama Melissa kwamba mtoto wake amepata ball na baada ya campus ndio ameingia campus ndio nimeingia sijamaliza ndio ameingia campus semester ya kwanza ndio semester ya kwanza amepata ball unajua all of you by now you should know that the ball will happen accidentally it was it wasn't our plan not planned it was not planned it's a blessing accidentally it's a blessing exactly yes haikuwa set ni kitu kwa tumeplan na kitafanyika ama nini but sasa one thing and kwa tumeagree ni hakuna siku hata moja hata tukijipata kwa situation kama hiyo hatutafanya abortion hiyo nani kitu moja tukwa tunaagree yeah since the one hmm. yes. so venye mwaka ulianza ni Melissa kitu alifanyanga was easy ali text to mama yake akwangi Kenya by the way na majuu so akam text akam show hey kwa hivi na hivi e, nimepata ball na hivi but tuko sawa na boys nini didi <laughs> bwanangu e, nini unajua venye tu unaweza bonga na mzazi alafu akamaliza kutoka hapo nikamwambia wewe kitu sasa utafanya wewe nipatie tu namba yake mimi nitamconvince sasa si the following day nakumbuka ilikuwa kama date 2 kama si date 2 ni date 3 ju sasa unajua Melissa kubonga na mama yake tena kuanza kumwambia alikuwa na feel pia ikiwa weird una cheki yeah, plus i'm the only mm-hmm. child kwetu i'm the only child so mamangu i'm expect she expects more yeah. from me so nona been the only child umepata mimba huko mnaelewa everything yeah. so you see what i am okay i'm happy you won't be happy Lazma but at the end sana. of the day lazima another way yeah. na na hizi kukata mzazi hezi kukata that's one thing acha kasirika for a while maybe 2 to 3 weeks ama a month but at the end of the day bado tu atarudi kwako so yeah so after Melissa kufanya hivyo ndo maana mimi nikafeel kwamba at least pia mimi nahitaji 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 hiyo nahitaji kumpa hiyo support ya kuambia mama yake kwamba at least siye peke yake ako na hiyo weight ya kwenda ku express hizo news kwa mama kwamba tuko na ball nini nini at least ni kwa na feel kwamba nikiongea na yeye pia one on one anaweza anaweza nielewa kwamba hii situation tumejipata na mtoto wake na sitaki na nitakuwa there for a child na hakuna kitu mbaya ita, itamwapenia hiyo ndio i guess hiyo ndio ilikuwa major part ya mimi kutaka kuongea tuna wamake
Ehe. Mwanzi naliniambia tuse muongezee responsibility sio yake. So ni kweli hatujai muongezea hadi leo. Tunangane venye tutalea mtoto na plus alitupea baraka pia. Oh no she's she's okay. Alicha alipunguza makasiri kwa yangu. One last thing she I remember she told me ni aliambianga just make sure that you you know that at the, at the end of the day decisions gonna consequences wallahi <laughs> <laughs> exactly and i'm away just to make sure at the end of the day we your decisions is gonna consequences you eat decision and you may make right now jua see aitakuwa tena at least ikuja tena kuwa mzigo wa babako nini unajua tena tuliafutana ni mwambi aliniuliza by the way aliuliza ngama swali aliuliza ngama swali about my family my dad and everything nikamwambia ya Uh, my mom passed away in 2018 that is you know eh uh, tukotuna my dad pale na mimi ndio first born na tumejipata kwa situation i guess from a mother's point of view yeye pia alikuwa anaona ukijana ni boy ni kijana fulani tu ashamwa kupenda mtoto wangu <laughs> juu hata later later on by the one thing that you guys don't know is later on mama Melissa alikam she later oh, she came, yeah, she came the time ya litoka majua kakam Kenya uh-huh. to limit to limit yeah ya, to limit actually to limsindia the airport yes <laughs> <laughs> to commit tukaongea at least that time hiyo ndio ndio tulibonga juu singe meet your time ingekuwa tena the next meeting ingekuwa kama after two years tena you know ingekuwa after a long time sio yeah so you Uh, personally, I think it's the best news yeah, to break yeah, our parents. Once of my dad, you know, I just want to, to he, he was the happiest. Kwanza akisikia kwamba eh mtoto wangu, you know, anaenda kwa grandfather. He was always the happiest. Alafu kwanza kitu, alafu tena kitu kingine ni, siko nataka ile guilt ya, tunaishi na ile guilt ya ati yo mama Melissa ajui, you know, tunaficha tena to do at the end of the day we need to be free you know tunataka ku, ku raise mtoto pia na baraka you know na si ati kwamba tutatorokea majukumu now that it has happened yeah i don't feel like i, I feel like it was the best it was the best thing to do yeah wakai wakijua na walisha tukubali mso mtoto azaliwe usimwambie ati afta mtoto amezaliwa as in sandi ange ko even more disappointed yeah. so the earlier the better yeah. yes, yeah. that was it that was it so our parents actually were they are they're very good from the ends for me ubonga na mama melissa once a while the here and there and she's okay yeye yeah, uniambia anga nichungie mtoto wangu you know eh ni sasa ile bakisha kupelekwa kisi kwanza my youngest sister huwa anakwanga kwa call hata my dad kwanza is more than willing wananiambianga eh wewe unajua alafu sana nishamaliza shule you know one thing again me i believe me it's if 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 my parents were possible were able to bring me up wakati when i was born when my mom was 16 years abado she managed to bring me up we are not young to be parents <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah we'll manage it and we'll still enjoy life yeah we st- we'll still enjoying life imagine mm-hmm. and plus one thing again i always believe is e pregnancy all along it has been like like a blessing to us like hakuna siku tushaya muka hivi tuka tukashindwa sasa leo tutakula nini you know yeah fudiko tutalala wapi tutavaa nini you know, we are very okay with that okay, like yeah. si akudishi ya kulala ya kula ya anything so far nothing mm-hmm. and melissa ni ebu complain hapa live on camera kama <laughs> <laughs> kama huwa ni shey yonyesha kutoweza to take care of responsibilities so let's take responsibilities yes so Sabisa. Hakuna kitu kitatushinda. I, I believe like hakuna kitu kitatushinda. Kwanza with the love and support of you guys are showing yeah, us yeah. again. You, yeah, you make yeah. it. You know, you make you showing us that our child is gonna born a celebrity. Hapana <laughs> 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 namna gani? Anyway, that is our part of the story. I don't think kama kuna kitu kingine tumeacha out. 
Yeah, so our parents are very okay with, with that. And uh, no matter what, I, I feel like it's the best thing we did. You are doing your at the end of the day. Yeah. Yeah. Bye bye, guys, and thank you for watching our video. Consider subscribing to this channel if you are new here. And don't forget to comment, like, share, share subscribe. Subscribe. See you Behind the camera is your boy, Kauli Chief Gabs. <laughs> we make sure we check to Pale Msani. I'm an Amagan. Anti. Bish. <laughs> <laughs>